here we have Nintendogs Plus Cats. I'm just going to show off all the different um, stores and like all different things you can buy in the game. I don't have enough money to buy everything, but I'll try to show off as much as I can and then buy a few things and show them like how to use them. So here we have the sort of the day-to-day -day pet store stuff where, let's see, so we have um, things like water, food for both um, dogs and cats, because you can get cats in this game obviously, and there's different snacks, different types types of brushes you can use, a bit of shampoo for cleaning your dog, and yeah, keep going, some playthings, so you got a ball of bone, uh, a ball that makes noise, that kind of stuff, we've got frisbees, we've got a boomerang, I've played around this before but I didn't save so I'll buy that again, that's quite a lot of fun, and buy this frisbee, frisbee as well, that's always a classic, and then we've got some music, I guess I get the dog music, there's also like music for cats, and balloons, but we already have some of those. Some just other generic toys, I believe. Back. So this is sort of like the uh, decorative store. I wouldn't know how to explain it. Basically, all different sorts of collars and stuff. Little bows you can put in your dog. But not very masculine. I mean, everyone who is awesome wears a beanie, so we'll buy a beanie. And I guess we'll give him some sunglasses too, because, I don't know, I'm really pretentious, and my dog wears sunglasses inside. But, that's pretty much it. I don't know if there's actually anything else you can unlock in these stores. Like, you can't buy everything up front, so obviously there's that um, room for progression, but I'm hoping there's extra content you can get, because some of these stores only have a couple of pages worth of stuff. Okay, so this is the home section. So we've got dog beds and um, chairs, just to make your home like um, your home just a bit more exciting. Bunch of stuff I can't afford. You got cabinets, fridges, uh, plaything for your cat, a fan. Uh, go back though. I don't think I want any of that. So yeah, just nothing too exciting or very expensive. Get out of that. And then we've got homes themselves, so you can buy different places. This is the de default place, I believe, so I already have that, yep. More of a Japanese style place. Quite nice looking. A lot of Japanese style places, I guess, because it's a Japanese game. And then a fancy mansion that's way too expensive, so I will probably never get to the part of the game where I actually end up buying that. Out of that. Here we have Mr. Recycle, which is basically just a place where you can sell your old crap and get some extra money for it. So I'll try to give an example of that. Let's see what I want to sell. Um, I guess I can sell this is collar. Oh. Or not. What can I sell then? Yeah, I have to sell one of his food things then. Wonderful. Something like 100 yen. Probably not worth it. And I do have to feed the dog a bit later, but that's a decent enough example. And here is, I think this is stuff that the guy actually wants. So maybe we get a bit of a deal if you have this kind of stuff. But obviously I don't have it, so I can't sell it to him. Go back. And the last store we can actually get to, because you can't get to the last one, like, can't do anything in there for some reason. Kind of Japanese, so I don't know why I can't do anything. But the last one is to go back and um, buy some cats and dogs. Haven't got enough money to actually buy anything at the moment, but we can look through it, I guess. So all different dog breeds, you've got the pug and all that, beagle, and I guess we'll show off a cat. I haven't shown off any cats yet. Choose of um, choose the color of the coat. Oh, nice golden one. Move this camera up a little bit. Fish like the cat. Oh, it's adorable. And hopefully, you can hear the purring because it's quite terrifying how realistic it is. Oh, scratch his eyeballs. Oh, it likes that. Grab his tail, see what happens.
they used like other cats too, so I want this one. Mm. Once again, this is probably not the type of game I'd buy if it wasn't for this um, YouTube channel and all that. But it is very well made, just how like, the cats are moving and all that. It is sort of creepy how realistic it is. And I can see the attraction because you just sort of sit back with this game and just, um, just sort of relaxing. And once the cat or dog gets annoying, you can just turn it off, which sort of helps. But yeah, I can't buy any of these because I'm broke in this game. But uh, let's see what other. Let's we'll check out. It's one of the dog too. Here is the beagle. They're a lot more active as running up towards you. Yeah, that's 128,000 yen, so I do not have enough money for that. And now I'll get out of that. Okay, but now that I've bought a bunch of stuff, I am going to just show some of it off. So, let's see. With the frisbee, which I've shown off in another video, but it's always fun. Hopefully he goes get it, but... Obviously he's not too interested in that. I might throw it close to him. Runs up to it, gets it. He will try to catch it, but I think as a pug, he's pretty hopeless at that. And what else we got here? Got the boomerang, so yeah, definitely my favourite. And has come back to me before, so. So we'll loop around if you throw it high enough, which is pretty awesome. It's always good fun. Like that. Oh, put the beanie on him. Put the sunglasses on him. Oh, I'll try to rotate around. I'll get him to come up to me in a second. There he is. What an awesome looking dog. Take a photo of it. So I'm using the shoulder buttons. And let's see what else we got. One thing I bought before is the bed, and with the bed you can um, choose which coin you want to have it in. I like having it in the sunlight, so I'll leave it there. And, yep, that's pretty much everything I bought. Oh, it's also the music player, and to use that you simply um, turn the record player on. You start playing, you can speed it up. You can slow it down. Uh, yep, that's pretty much everything I bought. This try to follow shops and if you want more videos like this just let me know just tell me what you want to see from Nintendo plus cats or from any other game that's out in Japan and I'll see if I can do it it's a bit difficult to understand all the menus that kind of stuff but I've been sort of fumbling my way through it and it's been going alright so I guess I'll talk to you later